What's up? All right, so I'm, um, I got a new wig. And first off, don't mind what's going on here. I'm in preparation mode, so got my hair braided. Um, I just put some braids in it or whatever, cause it's about to be a wig installation. So I'm about to um, um, package the wig that I received and it is from Ali Pearl. Um, this is my first time ordering from now. I know. I, I normally purchase my wig from one person, but when people don't act right. You gotta move differently. So, this is the hair. Make sure I ain't showing my address. So, this is the hair in here. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I wanna see what the packaging is like and the hair and everything and the whole shebang bang. So, first off, thank y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what else you guys wanna see and participate. I'm trying to do giveaways, but y'all not participating. So y'all don't want free stuff? Okay. Um, nevertheless, this is the hair. From Ellie Pearl. And it's, it just says Ellie Pearl here. The box isn't damaged or anything, so that's really, really good. It came nice. Um, it has the how-to on the back there and maintenance so i'm going to go ahead and open this box up look y'all here's my vanity got my new little vanity in my last video like i said i was going to do a um video of me and my husband putting it together but that didn't work out too good okay so i'm trying something new y'all way new we don't see how it works, but. This is the hair. Comes packaged really nicely. It's dark roots on the 613 blind. I don't know, I'm scared. I'm real scared. But, hey, when it's your birthday, you're supposed to go outside the box. All right, and. This little bag it came with this bag, Ellie Pearl. Nice, silky material. And you have an elastic band. So you can add that on there. Um, you won't need all of this, but you can add this band on there. You sew it in, and it came with a cap. So those are the items that it came with. This is a pretty good um, tone for my skin complexion. You know, just add the foundation one there, and that's it. So that's everything that it comes with. So let me get this stuff out the way. And I purchased this with my money. This is my sponsored video. I'll put that there. I'll curl. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and hook my mic up. So, make it easier. Just give me a second, okay? So I got my mic hooked up. Put on some lip gloss, cause your girl is ashy. This is my favorite lip gloss. It can be everyday or glam. All right, look a little better. So we quarantining and chilling. So, um, yeah, can't do nothing, but I'm still gonna be fly for my birthday. Did my nails, go check out my last video. And I got my outfits. I got a few outfits. Hopefully try to take some pictures or something. Y'all, I'll be 30 tomorrow. Like, where did the time go? I'm like literally about to be 30 tomorrow. Hmm. Hopefully I can get this video up today. April the 12th. It's Sunday. It's Easter, y'all. Happy Easter. How rude of me. Happy Easter to y'all. Um, 
All right, so this is the inside construction. They got, they have their little tag down there, just say human hair wigs, nothing special. And then this is the inside construction. And I believe it is already, I think this was 180 density. And I'm just trying to do the shed test to see if it's shedding. So far, no strands. It's soft. No strands. All right, we got one strand. Two strands. So yeah, not bad. Three strands. All right, so it does shed to be expected because it's, you know, a 613 weed. Go ahead and put that on my mannequin and see what we looking like. You got It has some pre-cut uh, baby hairs or whatever. I'm so scared, like I really don't know how I'm about to look with this wig. But nevertheless, we're gonna be cute. This is Body Wave. Let me get y'all a better view. I just tossed this little paper on the floor. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera angled better to get into this wig more. Y'all don't gotta see me. Y'all gotta see the wig so we can see what we're working with. Okay? Be right back. Alright, so now we are up and I'm going to get these baby hairs out the way so I can see what we're really working with. Let's check the parting and everything on here. I don't know if I need, let me see. Do I need to bleach these knots? I really don't feel like it, y'all. I'm not going to lie. But I need to, so I guess I need to. I mean, I can kind of get away with just putting the makeup on there, but to give it a more natural look, it's best to bleach the knots. So this is the part and look like. Yeah, those knots need to be bleached because I can see them, they're pretty thick. Probably can't really tell. They're not too bad, but I want it to look natural, so I gotta put in the work, right? Right. not to put too much product but I gotta make sure they out the way cuz I don't want to bleach those all right so then you turn it over inside out um, my quick white and my developer 30 volume developer you can get all of this Amazon your local beauty supply store and I have my brush and a butter knife I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on because safety first and um, we're not trying to get burnt, sis. Nope, I don't even need that much. Let's just do two. So I took about a half a scoop out. Developer. Definitely eyeball this. You don't want it thick, but you don't want it super runny. I'm just gonna use the butter knife. And carefully stir that. Yeah, that's it right there. That's the consistency we're looking for. So just make sure you stir it all in. Get the clumps out.
All right. And I think I'm gonna also wash the hair too. I'm just gonna start from the back and work my way to the front. Okay. Let me just turn it this way. Start from the back. I don't push it in. I just lay it on there. And then spread it. And I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to watch it, but typically about 30 minutes is good for me. 30 volume developer, 30 minutes. The knots aren't that big. good to go let that sit watch it give it about 25 to 30 minutes when I'm ready to wash it out I'm going to be using these here my store didn't have any shimmer lights but you can use this as well it's still a purple shampoo and conditioner this is the L'Oreal every pure sulfate free color care system blonde shampoo and conditioner as well as handy dandy silicone mix and I got the silicone mix from Kroger's. No, I'm sorry. I got the shampoo and conditioner from Kroger and the silicone mix from Amazon. Turn it down so I can see it better. So I'm struggling right now to get this done. But call me crazy. But I use my MAC foundation um, for my stocking cap ball method. Reason being is because I don't like the MAC formula. So I just use it for my hair now. Then I just dab that on there. Like the color is good, but the formula isn't. Just use this piece of sponge. Thank you. 
caught in my earring. I have my door shut. And you open it. I guess he's ready to eat dinner, so. He uh, came in here so he can, I guess, signal me. And he's ready to eat. Then I'm gonna take some free spray out of this can and just push that down. And a little peel. And it's gonna get rid of that white line. or powder, whichever. So I'm gonna dry that up. tangle or nothing but I don't want to mess with it too much while it's dry so let her dry I'm gonna go eat dinner and then I'll be back all right so I'm back and I'm about to go ahead and do this install right fast I don't think I'm gonna do baby hairs or nothing like that right now I don't know we shall see but let this, let's get let's get this boy on. So I'ma um go ahead and clean off my hairline. Just use an alcohol, of course, and a cotton ball. If I go cross eyes, because I'm sleepy. It's going to be nice and snug, for sure, for sure. Good thing, cause I got a whole bunch of weeds that's too big. I don't know if I'm gonna like this blind. Maybe if I do my makeup and stuff, but this is scary. Scary. Here's the blind. I'm just glad I got dark roots, cause then I really would've been jacked up if I didn't. Cause I know I wouldn't like that. All right, so I'm gonna use, again, I'm gonna do the um, semi-host. I'm just gonna use the, the gel. Let me go ahead and put this back in. I 
All right, so go ahead with the gel. Make sure your fingers is clean if you use your fingers. And I'm gonna apply that directly on and then take it back. Permanent, uh, well, not permanent, but more permanent route of, um, I use Janet Collection when I do, when I want it to last, um, for a good while, but I really just need this for a day, just to be cute for my B day. I'm not doing all of that.
sure this hair is out the way. And I'm just using a lot of body. And I'm just doing a big bad motion, cutting down away on the hair, the close to it. All right, so I got the wig on, got my edges tight down. I don't wanna let that sit, but the wig is pretty much dry. One thing I've noticed is I don't like the ends. Like, look how bad that looks. So I'm definitely gonna trim the ends. But other than that, this wig is so freaking soft. It was so soft out the pack. I did do the um, silicone mix but i don't think that really had a part in it because it was already extremely soft um density of 180 eh, 
I don't think so. It's not that thick. These, all right, they gotta go. So I'm gonna clip the ends a little bit. They about raggedy as they come. And I hate that. And then I'll go back in. It's just, this is just a perimeter clip. I'll go back and clip it. I don't know if I want a curly style. I think I'm gonna do curly. I don't think I want straight. So I really ain't gonna be able to tell too much with a curly style, but this is irritating. It's my birthday. Your girl is 30 30. You said 30? Yep, on my old fart. Yeah, yeah, with the snapper. Yeah, buddy. Ready? I mean, since you make me feel you're Yeah, I seen it. He said yes, he seen it. It was. Did, did y'all watch uh, my? What did you say? Did y'all watch my? Um, she said, did you guys watch my? I'm just about to put some big curls on the end because that's all I care about right now. I'm about to start work.
Okay, so. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>